it's Blackrad from 287 and welcome to the channel so today we're gonna do the series of the videos about the top 10 sx21 combo so today we're gonna start with the footman one uh for now so we have two lists we have one list uh without skins but with paid heroes, so you can find all the paid heroes, but everything is without skins. And then we have another uh, list with the skins and the paid heroes, with everything, basically. So let's start now. I am in the side of Valaski. So to see the top 10 of the free heroes and the paid heroes, but without skins. So uh, the top 10, so we have the bleeding Steve, Cleopatra, Alexander, not a great legion. So I'm not going to lose time with those legions. Not very interesting in my opinion. So top nine, Alexander, Theodora and Healer. So this also not working that great. So not interesting. Top eight, we have Alexander, Cleopatra and Theodora. Same, not really important legion. And in the top seven, now it's getting very interesting because we have the best legions that really work very well in the meta here so we have in the seven spot Arald, hellfire and healer so of course we are playing this since ages this legion uh, six we have Arald, cleopatra healer five we have Arald, bleeding steel healer and top four we have harold theodora and healer so Theodora now is the one who is working the best compared to the others. Actually, Cleopatra was dominating, but it's a little bit less strong. Also, I felt it because I was playing with Cleopatra, but now I changed. So now I am using Bleeding Steed uh, because I'm using Hellfire in another combo. Uh, more interesting, but... If you don't have skins, you're probably going to have the skin of uh, Bleeding Steed. So I recommend you to play Bleeding Steed all the time if you have the skin. If you have the skin. Uh, if you don't have the skin, but it's almost impossible. Uh, of course, use Hellfire if you don't have um, any free-to-play uh, paid heroes, I mean. Uh, Without skin, Hellfire and Bleeding Steeds, I prefer a little bit Hellfire to be honest, but it's really very similar. But if you have a Theodora, really is a good one. It's working super well this season actually with Healer because it's giving the buff or giving tons of healing of Arald. So Arald never gonna die, so it's very, very powerful. But those four legions are very similar strong. So then we are going for the top three, which is Arald, Theodora, and Alexander. So this legion also was used uh, the last season, but of course you need Alexander and Theodora, who are paid heroes. I rarely saw this in the map, in the fight. I think it didn't even fight it this, probably once or twice. But I don't see a lot this legion because usually people are gonna keep Alexander to make another legion. Uh, so yeah, not very interesting actually. Then top two we have Arald, Theodora, and Cleopatra. So basically, uh, I don't know why they put always Theodora in the middle row. It seems it's working better. I don't see really the reason because she can be played in the back row. Also, it's gonna be the same, I guess. But it seems it's yeah, it's better in the middle row. And then they put Cleopatra in the back row. So it's the same legion with Healer, but with Theodora. But Theodora is a little bit working better than uh, Healer. So if you have Theodora and Cleopatra, for sure go for this legion. Really go for it. Uh, or for if you only have Theodora, put Aral, Theodora, Healer, gonna be super strong too. Those two legions are very dominating uh, with Aral. Then we have the top one. The Gustav, Bleeding Steed, and Alexander. So this legion didn't change, still in the top one. But in my opinion, in my opinion, it's really losing a lot uh, recently compared to the last season. Arald is a little bit better, in my opinion, than this legion. But well, 
it's still working and if you have alexander for sure you're gonna play this legion but um but in my opinion probably don't deserve the rank one in my opinion but it's okay so let's go now for the list with the skins and here we go now for the list with the skins and we have a nice monopoly Felicity. okay so in the top 10 we have gustav theodora and alexander with hit skin of course uh, not relevant legion not very interesting so not gonna lose time with this then the top nine we have alexander theodora and healer also for me not very interesting legion top eight alexander cleopatra and theodora so also for me not really in the meta and now we're getting to the serious things so we have in the top seven are all the Cleopatra and Healer. So for those who had uh, Cleopatra, uh, I really was recommending to play Cleopatra even without the skin to a super strong, but it seems that it's less strong now. I don't really know if they changed something or what, but it's a little bit, a little bit less good. And now they actually consider it to be the less strong combo with our healer, so we are not very interesting to use now Cleopatra with Aural, so you must use something else. So now, if you have, of course, top six, we have Aural, Hailfire and Healer. So it's, it's exactly the same as the other list. And then we have Aural, Healer and Bleeding Seed. I don't know why Bleeding Seed is back row. I don't... They both work in the both places, so... It seems they had better results. I never actually tried, but it seems they got better results like this. Why not? It's something to to try. But comparing the Bleeding Seed and the Hellfire, I prefer with the skins. I really... I prefer a little bit the Hellfire. I don't know why, but I feel it's doing a little bit better. Maybe it's something in my head, but I, I don't know. But I feel that I am doing better because I have the both skins. But for sure, if you only have the Bleeding Seed skin, go for Bleeding Seed for sure. So let's go for the top four. And the top four, we have Gustav, Bleeding Seed and uh, Alexander. So this Legion was the top one in the last season um, as a paid, but now it's not. So I don't know if they change some things in the hero sometimes, some sneaky changes or also because it's depending the new heroes because we didn't got any infantry here this season so probably the other combos the new combos with the new heroes also change a little bit the ranking of some legions because probably some new legions can counter some legions that were in the top and probably they can go down so that's maybe the reason but so it's less strong now and then we have in the top three we have Arald Theodora and Alexander so it was also in the other list it's a good one but it's the same you're gonna keep Alexander to make the the legion with Gustav so not a good idea to put it in this combo I don't see the, the thing to do and top two we have Arald, Theodora and Healer so this legion as you can see is really dominating the one with Theodora and especially with the skin the skin is really good really gives um, good stats for her so it's for me one of the best legions actually really one of the top three best legions because i fight it a lot against it and it's very strong because there's a lot of healing it's super super strong so very hard to beat and the top one we have Arald, theodora and cleopatra and this is a surprise i actually don't saw this in the field to be honest i usually see with healer but it seems that cleopatra replacing healer is doing better cleopatra is a very good hero and especially because the skin of the cleopatra is the one um i always forget all they call this but those skins are very expensive will give big stats so probably this is what's making the difference between them because if you take out the cleopatra skin for sure the, the legion 2 gonna be better to use so there's some few changes even that we didn't got uh, new heroes uh, as an infantry as you can see there's some few changes but it's 
for free to play players it's not really changing anything you're gonna continue to play with uh, bleeding steep because you all have the skin in my opinion but if you have one teodora even without the skin can be interesting to test probably it's gonna be better than the bleeding steep so teodora really became a very strong hero now recently actually it's working very well so we probably gonna have more changes on the other lists because we got a new here so i started with this one because there's not many differences actually with the last season so i see you soon for the next video and peace out